It's wonderful to see everybody's faces and all the people have come together to take part in this. We've put together a very special event and brought some really inspiring people together to, uh, I think, give us all some much needed inspiration after what's been a pretty crazy year for us all. Leadership and great leadership, I believe, comes from kindness, from understanding from compassion to being able to listen to what the other person has to say and how collectively as a team you get on the same page for a common good and work together. Change before you're forced to by competition, by regulation or by circumstance. And the more and quicker that you're able to change, the more it can become a competitive advantage the better you're able to turn adversity into opportunity. If I'm gonna fail at something, I might as well fail at something I think I can achieve. Maybe rather than being successful or even failing at something that's easier. At least this way, I will know what I'm really, really capable of doing, capable of achieving. I wanted to achieve something in my life. I wanted to have a legacy. I wanted to be remembered when I died. This really ignited me. And it was when I got older, I didn't just want to be average. I wanted to achieve something. You know, one thing, one thing that is in life always that is constant is change. And it's always to the extent of how much change. And sometimes you've got to create change. And we've always been an organization that's done it. I've always believed in building resilience. You go and, you go and create as much change as you possibly can. I really believe that, that knowledge and the ability to implement change is one of the most valuable things you can share with someone. You know, fundamentally, it's about getting the right information into the hands of people that want to create change. And if, like me, you've been inspired, join me in thanking Captain Scott Kelly. We've heard from some wonderful speakers and, and presenters. The theme throughout all of this, though, was that everybody was, that we've heard from today was once an ordinary person that's gone on and done extraordinary things. At the end of our lives, I think it's unlikely that we're going to be counting our money or cataloging the deals that we made or the things we managed to accumulate, I think it's much more likely that we may simply ask ourselves a question. Did I make a difference?